Hi folks, it's Evo here from Funimus Lure Company and today what we'd like to do is give you a demonstration on how to clean striped bass. These striped bass are probably one of the most highly sought after fish here in the Cape Cod area. That's where we're coming to you uh, today. And this is a nice size striper. They certainly get a lot bigger, but this one here weighed in at just over 22 pounds, 22 and a half pounds. So this is a legal size here in Cape Cod. Anything short of 20, 28 inches has to go back. So what I'd like to do, we're gonna invite Claudio over here. He's our expert uh, fish filleter, and we're gonna have him give a demonstration on how to fillet this particular striped bass, which our webmaster, as a matter of fact, just caught moments ago on the beach here at Cape Cod using a green viper spoon. Anyhow, Claudio, let's uh, let's take this one away and show show the folks how to clean this nice striped bass we have here. All right, so we're going to start off by making an incision behind the gill cover, uh, just like so. Cut all the way around. Oh, a little bit of blood there. Then what you want to do is you want to make a cut along the top of that backbone, right along the top fin there. So you make an incision along the top fin because you're going to want to follow that incision along the, 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 the side of that backbone as you cut through this striped bass. Now these striped bass are absolutely fantastic table fare and uh, this one in particular you can get some nice sized steaks off of this uh, and it'll certainly feed a family with, without any problem. So you work your way along the backbone as, as Claudio is doing there and you'll see he'll come to the rib cage right there he's hitting the rib cage there and the rib cage kinda goes straight and then it comes around so he's going to go around that rib cage you can leave that fillet on for a little bit of balance just like so so he's gonna leave that fillet there turn this fish which is kinda awkward because it's a large one there you go, he turns it to the other side. Now what he'll do, the reason he left that fillet on there is because it helps balance the fish and uh, it makes it easier to fillet. Otherwise you run the risk of, when you're running along that backbone, you run the risk of cutting through that backbone and you'll, you end up with a, nice, a much nicer, cleaner fillet by doing it this way. So again, you just run along the other side now of that backbone and then again same process run your knife along that bone stay right up against the bone so you're getting all the fillet and until you hit the rib cage so he's going to work his way through this fish here now what he's done is he just cut right through and now he very simply work your way along that bone right to the tail so we're going to continue cutting here right to the rib cage and then uh, eventually what we're going to do is we're going to cut that fillet right around the rib cage as he's doing now right down to the belly and there you have one beautifully boneless fillet right there now we're going to flip them over and cut the other side same process on the other side folks right turn the fish over and now what he's going to do is just finish removing that fillet that he three quarters had cut already. There we go. Now the only thing left to do is to remove the skin. Now to remove the skin basically all you do is you want to pass your your fillet knife between the skin and the fillet. So you get it started there as Claudio's doing and then you run the knife right through between the fillet and the skin. and you work your way along and this this process here will end up with one completely boneless and skinless fillet and then once he's done I'll uh, explain one more thing that you could do um, if you notice here on the fillet uh, as he's turned it there's some dark muscle meat here and that dark muscle meat adds a very fishy uh, taste or flavor to your fillet so what you want to do um, not only with sea bass but with any fish if you see a dark muscle meat whether you catch the fish or buy the fish remove that dark muscle meat and your fillet will taste ten times better so Claudio is just showing a demo on how to just remove it it's just right under the, uh, the, the surface there and actually rather than do this entire 
the fish, I'm going to ask Claudio to flip it around so you would normally remove all that dark muscle meat and this particular fish, because it's a larger one, has some fat on it. So if he flips that fillet over, I just want to show the folks right here, you can see that discoloration, there's some fat right there. So take a minute and remove that fat. If there's any chemicals in the fish, the chemicals will be in that fat and you certainly don't want to eat that portion of the fish. So be sure to remove any fat from your fillet, remove the dark muscle meat, and you will have one absolutely delicious fillet. So until next time, time folks, good luck, good fishing, and bon appetit.